This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Principles, their Data Tools Unit, Lesson 8, Creating JavaScript Objects, Puzzle 15, Showing the New Contact. When a user adds a contact, they should be automatically taken to the Show Contact screen. You're going to be super lost if you haven't done this earlier stuff, okay? So make sure you go back and do that if you're already confused. Uh, and the newly added contact should be shown. So when we add one, it says, why aren't we showing it right away? That makes sense. Additionally, when they return to the contact, add contact screen, the fields should be cleared out. Ah, yes. Your code from the previous exercise is provided. How kind. Add code to the event hand. I love that. Uh, add code to the event handler for the save contact button that clears the text from the input page. Switches the screen back to show contact screen. Sets the current index and calls the show current contact. So the newly added contact is shown. Alrighty. That is a bunch of stuff. So let's start with the easy stuff. We want to sh uh, clear the... Um, we're going to clear out the, con uh, the text box areas. So when we click save, is that what they're looking for? Add current talk to... Mm -hmm, clears the... To the save contact button. Yep. Got it. So where's our save contact button? Right here. Okay, perfect. So we have our save contact button. What we're going to need, I want it spaced out a bit. This is the one we wrote. So we're going to need to clear out the blah, text areas. So let's do a set text. A set text and a set text. And what do we want to set the text of? Oh, I think we might need one more. I want to take name input, phone input, and we're just going to set it to a blank string, right? We're just going to clear it out. That way, when they get back to it next time to add someone, there is nothing there. And set text. And then the URL of the image. And now, let's just get rid of the word text, because we just want a blank string. So that should take care of that one. And what else we need to do? Now, when we, when we close out of it, right, when we hit Save Contact, they want us to go to the current, go to that contact in the app. So we need to change the index to that contact and then we want to show that contact. Hmm. So let's think of the easy stuff first. If we hit, when we hit add, save contact, they want it to be able to just go back automatically, right? So go back with a save contact button. So that's going to be set screen, right? We want to set the screen. So I remember how to do that. I'm going to do that next. Green or is it set this? There it is. Okay, so I'm going to do this next. I'm going to separate it out a bit. Boop, boop, because I know stuff goes in between it. Show blocks. Um, and what screen do I want to go to? Well, I want to go to the view contact screen. Now, when we add a contact, how can I make the screen show the contact I need, our most recent contact? Well, we've added our contact to the array. So if we've already added our new contact, our new object of a person to the array, what index is that at? Do you append to the front of an array or to the back? And if you're appending to the back, how can you get the last item in an array? But da uh, Right? So what we can do is we're going to use our... Uh, we're going to use our variable for current index are a global variable, right? Because you can access this at every function and we're going to set it equal to. So what index do we need? Well, we want contacts, our array, right? So our array, and don't forget dot length, we can use it, it's great. Now when it gets the length of an array, it's going to start counting at one to whatever, whereas indexes start counting at zero. So if we're setting up an index from a length, we need to subtract one. Because the final index in our array might be 4, but the length then is 5, because we start counting indexes at 0. 
Okay. And then mm, I think show contact screen. Oh, of course. So we also want to update the screen, not to just change the index. We want to show the contact screen. We need to tell it to update. So we've changed the index, but then we need to do a call to our function that actually updates it. Show current contact. Okay. I think let's give this a shot. Okay, so add. I'm going to put me again because I don't know. I'm me. Da -da 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 -da. Yes, I'm old. I think I might have. Ah, I still have that uh, image URL here. So, pada, save. What? And it works. And it works. <laughs> this one was tricky, though. So we added a whole bunch of code, right? We already had this array stuff, but we wanted to set the text. We wanted to change the current index. We wanted to ask it to automatically to go to that new contact. Uh, we wanted to change the index. And since the current index is, uh, is a global variable, when we run show contact, it runs it using the updated index. So current index plus current index minus all of that type of stuff. And then, oh wait, did I say show? No, show contact. That would make sense. Um, it is using the right object because we've updated current index globally. And we have me pop up. Let's make sure. And it clears it out. Go back. And ba da, ba da, ba da, ba da. Perfect. So a bit tricky, but hey, we got it. Let's keep uh, going.